Let's talk about membrane patch colorimetry as it relates to um, the measurement of varnish or prediction of varnish. So MPC is a very quick and cost effective way of assessing an oil's varnish potential. And potential is the key word here. We can't measure actual varnish, but we can measure the potential for varnish. So let's, let's go through it again. Uh, the method is not so important, but we expect oils basically to, to change color in surface as they oxidize. And by looking at the both the soluble and insolubles on a patch, we can sort of determine the amount of uh, varnish uh, solubles and insolubles that have been created. Now, the preparation of this sample is extremely important. I talk about it at length in, in other areas, in other videos. Um, but I, I see this done incorrectly a lot on site. So there are a lot of site uh, test kits which advertise themselves on, you know, hey, the test is only done in 10 seconds or whatever. That's great, but the sample needs to be prepared for 24 hours first. So the amount of time that the test takes, is really not all that important. Anyway, what you really need to do, what you really need to know is that it's effectively, um, you know, putting a vacuum underneath the lubricant and passing it through a filter patch in a similar way to making filter coffee. And what you end up with is, you know, one sample from the new oil and one sample from the used oil, and you have this change in color. Now, you can't just kind of look at the two um, and come up with a delta E value. Realistically, it needs to be done by an actual calibrated instrument that understands the test, right? Um, you know, different colors respond to different, uh, correspond to different additive chemistries and things like this. All right, what is the relation to varnish? So MPC is a really, really important test because it's one of the few tests that measures both soluble varnish, precursors, and insoluble varnish that has come out of solution. All right, so effectively, this is one of the few tests that is a direct correlation to the true varnish potential of the oil. When we talk about the varnish cycle, where we talk about going from oxidation, polymerization, solubility, precipitation, and agglomeration, we've got two sort of sides to the process. We have what I would call the soluble side. So this is oxidation precursors, sorry, oxidation byproducts that are precursors to varnish that are held in solution. Right? Um, let's say, for example, if I did a standard patch weight test, these wouldn't show up, but they do show up in something like tan which maybe doesn't measure the insolubles, right? Then I have the insolubles, which is, you know, my, my solution has become saturated and stuff is starting to precipitate out, right? So there are both soluble and insolubles, and both of these are con contributors to the varnish potential, okay? Now, how can we use MPC in conjunction with a whole bunch of other tests? So because MPC measures both solubles and insolubles, we can compare it with other test methods that only measure one of those things. So as an example, a standard patch weight test would only measure insolubles, right? So if I have a low MPC, but high patch weight, that suggests that I have non-varnish deposits. So it could be anything, right? Um, it could be, let's say, for example, oh, I don't know, um, it could be metals, right? It could be wear metals, it could be sand, it could be dirt, uh, a variety of things, right? So it's still forming deposits, but they're not like oxidation or, or base oil breakdown related. Then we have the situation in which we have high MPC, but relatively low patch weight. So what does that suggest? That suggests I have low insolubles, but very high solubles, right? So trying to wrap our heads around this. So what that means is I have a lot of varnish precursors. So I have a lot of oxidative byproducts that are still held in solution that haven't played it out yet or haven't become insoluble. Um, and therefore I would term those varnish precursors right, because they haven't formed insoluble varnish yet. Now, if the two numbers are high, that is indicative of the fact that I have, I would say high varnish potential, right? So that means that I have insoluble varnish in the form of oxidation precursors it means that my saturation, uh, saturation point has probably been reached because now I also have insoluble varnish. Now, technically, when we talk about do I have varnish, that means do I have varnish in the equipment system? 
right? You can't really tell that from uh, from an oil test because theoretically, maybe all the insolubles are just circulating around the system and they haven't stuck to any of the equipment walls. But, right, there is a very good chance that if you have insoluble uh, particles that are varnish particles, there is a very, very good chance that they are either about to stick to equipment or they already have. Finally, there's the safe zone, right? <laughs> if you have low MPC and you have low patch weight, then it, that is indicative of the fact that you have very few soluble and insoluble particles, right? So that's that's a that's a really good area to be in. So again, MPC, um, very very relevant test for uh, the the varnish potential of an oil. And remember the key word there, potential. 